Mantises, which are also called praying mantises, can be found all over the world. They're usually green or brown, have a small triangular head with big round eyes, and have three pairs of legs. The back legs are used for walking, while the front legs are used for hunting. The front legs look like they're mostly joined in prayer. In biology, these legs are called raptorial legs. All over these legs are sharp spikes that help the mantis catch its food. Praying mantises may look calm and still because of their position, which is how they got their name, praying mantis. However, contrary to what most people think, this is the position in which they wait for their prey to get close. Praying mantises hide on trees and branches using natural green or brown colors. They sit very still and wait for their prey to come to them. When an insect or bug that doesn't see them comes into their attack zone, its raptorial legs move quickly to catch it by surprise. While the praying mantis eats an insect or bug, these legs hold it tight in spikes. Even though praying mantises have wings, they can fly with them. People often mistake them for other insects like grasshoppers, crickets, and stick insects because of how they look. But they aren't the same because grasshoppers and mantises aren't in the same family. The order of insects that praying mantids are in is called mantidae, and the larger class they are in is called mantidae, which means mantids. One of the most interesting things about the praying mantis is that it's the only insect that can turn its neck all the way around. Because their eyes and pupils are so big and round, they have very good vision. With a channel that can turn up to 180 degree, they are one of the most dangerous animals that can sneak up on their prey. One of the most interesting things about the praying mantis is that a female mantis usually eats the male mantis while matting. This usually happens when two people are making love. If the female mantis is hungry and not getting enough food from laying eggs, she can bite off the head of the male mantis who is mating with her. Scientists have researched this part of praying mantis cannibalism. People aren't sure if this is a natural thing or if it's because of what people have seen, making the female mantis kill the male mantis when she senses a danger. Research has shown that a female mantis was less likely to eat its own young before laying eggs if it was not closely watched. Are praying mantises aggressive? The praying mantis is an ambush predator which means it doesn't actively chase its prey to catch and kill it. Most praying mantises are green or brown, making them hard to see by their prey and other predators. A praying mantis is an insect that usually waits patiently while holding its raptorial legs in front of it, ready to strike. It can look like they are putting their hands together and praying. When an insect or bug enters the praying mantis's area of attack, it stretches out its front legs to catch it. A praying mantis only attacks when it wants to eat. This can include butterflies, flies, moths, caterpillars, cockroaches, and other bugs. The mantis's raptorial legs are so strong that they can sometimes catch animals that are bigger than them, like lizards, frogs, and even small birds. Praying mantises never eat dead animals or insects. They only attack living ones. So praying mantises are dangerous predators and attackers for the animals they eat, but not for people or pets. People are difficult to be preyed upon by mantises, so they try to stay away from us. If they are touched, they run away. They don't bite very often, and there is no evidence that their bites are poisonous or venomous. So you shouldn't worry too much about them, but if one bites you, it might make your skin feel slightly bad. Do praying mantises have poison? The most important part of a praying mantis's body is its front legs, called raptorial legs. These legs help the insect hunt and eat insect. These legs have several small spikes called tubercles on them. These spikes dig into the bodies of the insect they eat to hold them still, which helps the mantis hold on to its prey. This is the only method by which a praying mantis may hunt and kill its victim. Even while the mantis's spikes add in killing its prey, 
It does not emit any venomous or harmful compounds to hasten the process. Other than being venomous or deadly, these spines do not talk any chemical ingredients into subduing or rendering unconscious the victim, as do the spines of many other insects. The sole purpose of these spikes is to subdue prey, which demands the praying mantis's power. Therefore, praying mantises are not dangerous to the insects they consume, and even if they bite humans, they do not release poisonous compounds. Do praying mantises to bite? Despite the praying mantis being a dangerous and deadly predator to the insect and bugs that they prey on, it's never likely for a praying mantis to attack humans. Praying mantises have very good eyesight. On a clear day, they can see movement from about 60 feet. That is 18.2 meters away. Because of this, they can tell the difference between their usual food and a finger or something much bigger. So they usually stay away from people. Even though the chances of a praying mantis is bitten a person are very low, accidents can happen. If someone touches or comes into contact with a mantis without knowing it, your dog or other pet might sometimes try to play with a praying mantis until it bites them to protect itself and scare them away. Mantis bites do not affect dogs, even if your dog decides to eat them as a snack, so there is no need to worry. Mantises can be scared if you get too close. This might make a praying mantis more likely to attack and bite a finger or other body part to protect itself. If they bite your finger, you shouldn't worry too much because they usually only do a small amount of damage. What to do if you get bitten by a praying mantis? A praying mantis bite is not poisonous. They are also not likely to bite people when they don't need to. But sometimes, we can accidentally startle a mantis that is still and quiet. This could make it bite you to protect itself or because it thinks it's in danger. When things are like this, there's no reason to get upset. You only need to wash your hands well with warm water and soap. Washing them with soap and water helps calm an irritation or cleans a small wound if there is one. If you see a cut or a little bit of blood, just put some scalp cream or a band add on it and it will heal quickly. Wear gloves to cover your hands and keep insects or praying mantises from biting your fingers. Cannibalism is a thing that usually happens when a male and female mantis mate or have a baby. The female mantis bites the head off of her mate while they are making love. Nearly 90% of the species of praying mantises have been seen to act like this. Scientists have done a lot of research on this behavior in female mantises. They have found that the chances of a female cannibalizing her mate are higher when they're being watched in a lab than when they're mating in their natural habitat. Mantids have very good eyesight so they can see the bright lights and movement which are common in a laboratory and people inside. This makes a mantis feel like it's in danger when it's mating, which may be why females will eat males. A female mantis might also eat a male mantis because she needs the energy and strength to lay eggs. If a female mantis doesn't have a good, steady source of food, or if a male mantis makes her feel unsafe or threatened, she is more likely to eat a male mantis. Statistics show that almost 83% of the male praying mantises do not get eaten, but that number increases as they mate with more than one female. So, that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.